All right, so today we're going to talk about the ideal gas law. Now, the ideal gas law is written as PV equals NRT. And you already know what several of these stand for. You know that P stands for pressure. You know that V stands for volume. And you know that T stands for temperature. The two new variables are N, which is the number of moles, You'll always know it's a PV equals NRT problem if moles are mentioned. It's the only way we can solve for moles. And the R is the gas constant. And with the gas constants, the units matter. So I'm going to put three gas constants up there, give you a moment to take all the information down, and then I'll talk about each one. So here are the three gas constants. So go ahead and pause the video so that you can get down those three, and then I'm going to talk about each one. All right, so the first gas constant has liters times millimeters of mercury over Kelvin and moles. The second gas constant has liters times atmosphere over Kelvin and moles. And the third has liters times kilopascals over Kelvin and moles. So what you'll notice is that the only thing that changes are our pressure units. Kilopascals are a pressure unit, millimeters of mercury are a pressure unit, and atmospheres are pressure units. So the only thing that changes is that pressure unit. This pressure unit, when we get to a problem, will dictate which R value we plug in to PV equals NRT. So, Whichever pressure unit we have will dictate our R value. Let's look at a problem. So this problem says, what is the pressure in atmospheres exerted by a 0 .500 mole sample of nitrogen gas in a 10 liter container at 298 Kelvin? So, a couple things to keep in mind. In these gas law problems, your volume must always be in liters. So if you are given a volume outside of liters, you need to solve it for liters first, so convert to liters. Second, your temperature always needs to be in Kelvin. So if you're given a temperature in Celsius, you need to add 273. If you are given a temperature in Fahrenheit, you need to convert to Celsius first and then add 273 to Kelvin. Alright, hopefully you finished writing down that problem. If you haven't, go ahead and pause and finish writing down. So the first thing we're going to do anytime we're solving an ideal gas law problem, so a PV equals NRT problem, is to write PV equals NRT. It lets me know just what I need to solve for, keeps it really straightforward. So we know that it's going to be a PV equals NRT problem because of these moles. That's why I've underlined them. Once you see moles, you know it's going to be PV equals NRT. And we can start filling these things in. So our pressure, it says, what is the pressure in atmospheres? So we know that pressure is going to be what we're solving for. Next, we look for a volume. That's moles. That's temperature. Volume's over here. 10 liters. N is number of moles. We've underlined it here as 0 0.500 moles. Our R value now we know which R value to pick because it wants a pressure in atmospheres. So we find the R value that deals with atmospheres. There are atmospheres there. So our R value is 0 0.0821. So 0 0.0821. And last but not least, our temperature is 298 Kelvin. All right. So now all we have to do is solve for P. Looks like we're going to divide both sides by 10. And if we divide both sides by 10, sorry, this is divided by 10 to get P by itself, and this is divided by 10, P is equal to 1.22 atmospheres. Now, this has 1, 2, 3 significant figures, this has 1, 2, 3 significant figures, and this has 1, 2, 3 significant figures. That is why our answer has 3 significant figures. So our answer is we will have a pressure 
of 1.22 atmospheres for a final answer. Thanks very much. Come on in if you have questions.